Good morning, Polar Bears. What's up, y'all? Happy Friday, and we're back for another edition of Engineer Design with me, Mr. B. It is April 23rd, 2021, and y'all, this year is just flying by. I did want to show off uh, this picture of a dog. It's not my dog, but I wish my dog would uh, have fancy glasses like that. And for on-campus scholars, if you have a boat, you have it created, and it's on campus, and you have not tested yet, please send me an email. Uh, the first eight scholars to send me an email to test their boat out, will um, I'll be able to take you out sometime today in order to have and be able to do your boat challenge. So in this email, make sure you have your name, your advisor, and your grade as well. And I'm going to try to uh, get y'all in to test your boat out today. So today we are going to talk a little bit about something called architecture. So first, I will warn you, this song is catchy. And I think, and this song has a lot of bars. There's, there's been a fire here, y'all. All right, let's go. Let's go way back. Look back and reminisce on how it began and how I became the architect that I am. I knew I was an architect since the age of two. Standing in my crib, I had a fascinating view. Riding in my stroller, the sights were amazing. Everywhere I looked was stone, brick, and glazing. My second word form, first word function. My parents were amazed I could connect that conjunction. Looking like a zebra, yeah, I'm wearing white and black. Too busy building structures, ain't got no time to nap. We're architects, oh. and we knew it from the start. A perfect combination of building and art. Yeah. We've been creating since the age of two. And now we're designing a better city for you. My skills blossom at the age of six. Dropping instant designs with pickup sticks. Call me Abraham. I had skill with the Lincoln Logs. Designed a mini house for my dogs. I was a boss at Jenga, schooling all of my friends. Check on my desk, my great assortment of pens. Pulled my first all-nighter by the age of nine. With Legos I built an immaculate design. We're architects, oh. and we knew it from the start. A perfect combination of building and art. Yeah. We've been creating since the age of two. And now we're designing a better city for you. Built a doll house out of foam core board for my architect Barbie. She was floored. Skipped a family trip to go see Mickey Mouse. Rather go to Falling Waters to see Frank's famous house. Donned a drawing too instead of a book bag. It was the start of my architect swag. Sorted all my clothes according to hues and made a sketch up of my bedroom with a 3D view. We're architects oh. and we knew it from the start. A perfect combination of building and art. Yeah. We've been creating since the age of two. And now we're designing a better city for you. Composing skylines with in Sim City. And in Minecraft, I built a home that was pretty. Designed a tree house and brought to fruition. But I had to cut costs to save for my tuition. Mowed a hundred lawns to buy a 3D printer. And took up woodworking ounce, a splinter. Love to design and build. It's what I do. I'm gonna be an architect. How about you? So get up, grab your pencils. Let's design. So yeah, that that's what an architect is. So if you've ever built Lego or you ever use Legos, you've ever played Minecraft, um, you've ever wanted to build or have built a tree house, uh, you've ever played with the dollhouse, maybe that might be an interest in architecture. Just letting y'all know. So we're going to jump a little more into, oh, not again. I will say it's a little catchy. That song's a bit catchy, but we've talked about a city. We've develop our own city. We've, you know, talked about what makes up a city. Now we're going to kind of go and zoom in a little bit more and not just at a city, but at a specific building, right? Looking at buildings, looking at houses. So we're kind of getting our microscope and zooming in here. So what is architecture? That's a great question. And our definition of architecture it is art, y'all. It's art. So I know you're thinking, well, Mr. B, I'm an engineer in design. I'm not doing art. Don't worry. We're only covering architecture, but it is an art. Architecture is supposed to be pretty. It is basically designing. You have to draw them up and you have to construct them. 
buildings. This can include houses. This can include very tall buildings. This could be include small buildings. This can include a school just like the one you go to. And now our first factor, our first uh, trait characteristic of um, architecture or a building, durability has to be strong. A building should stand up on its own or a bridge to stand up on its own or um, a house should be able to stand on, on its own. This isn't like the three little pigs. We need, we need that brick house, y'all. And I wanted to show you, you know, not a building, but it is a structure. If, it, if a bridge is flimsy, you're not gonna drive on that bridge, heck no. Utility, what that means is that it needs a actually, um, it has to be right for what it's supposed to be used for, right? So what I mean by that is a hammer. You're not gonna you're not gonna smash a hammer into a wall. You're gonna use it for a nail, slowly but surely, and put that nail in. Now, if it's really cold outside, guess what? You're not gonna wear a suit. You're gonna wear a coat. You're gonna wear a sweater. You're gonna wear a bunch of hoodies. So it needs to be right for what it's supposed to be used for. That's utility. Next one, and our last characteristic is beauty. It's gotta be mwah. Beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. All that means it's it's your eyes, y'all. It's gonna be you might walk by, past the building or a super tall skyscraper, and you're gonna be like, that's such a pretty building. That's what an architect wants to do. It wants to create beauty. Here's a, a little gif of some really pretty libraries. You might be thinking, what libraries? There, there's books in there. Ah, you might be scared by it. But y'all, there are beautiful places. They're so great. I love that gift. Okay, so with today, we have structure. That is the actual structure, the actual building. It's the way it's built or the actual building itself. So structure and with structure comes function. It's the way something works. We have to think about the way it works, the way it's supposed to work. Now, here's some examples of structure and function. First off, an umbrella. It's raining, right? What if an umbrella was flat? It's just flat and you have it over. Would that help us? Probably not, right? It probably would, wouldn't help us. The water would just land on there and then the water would end up being too heavy and probably hit our heads. But check out the shape of the umbrella. It's like a dome shape. It's like a half circle. Water lands and then it bounces off and it covers you. So it's working like it's supposed to. The structure, the shape of it, helps the function on keeping you dry. A polar bear. Yes, we are all polar bears. But um, a real polar bear, it lives out in the cold, right? It lives out in Antarctica, lives out on the North or South Pole. And it's very cold out there. Now it's structure, it's fur, helps its function, it helps it keep, keep it warm. So it's gonna help it out in the winter in these super cold temperatures. Y'all, I cannot survive in Antarctica without a bunch of fur or with a lot of jackets. So the structure, the fur helps the function, staying warm. I do wanna say architects and engineers work together. They're not always the same thing, but they work together and they are both problem solvers. And that's what we want to build, right? We want to be able to solve problems. So an example of this, what we'll probably be doing in our exit ticket, if you need to build a house on this cliff, it might be tricky. You're going to be like, well, what the heck? We're going to be falling down. This house is not going to be able to stand. But an architect uses their brain and tries to solve this problem and sees the possibility in this and says, you know what? This cliff is very hard to build a house, but maybe I could do something like this. And then I could put a house on there. And guess what? It'll be able to stand. Somebody will be able to live there and be able to enjoy a house. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll continue on architecture a little bit for the next coming weeks. And we'll also hopefully have a new challenge, I think within three weeks. I think within three weeks, okay? All right, y'all, let me know if you need anything. See ya. Bye.